Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. So this video is yet another video in my Cloud Firestore and Python playlist. So this playlist covers Cloud Firestore in general, so what is NoSQL, how does it work, how, the, how is Cloud Firestore structured, moving on to actually setting up Cloud Firestore as well as setting it up with Python, and then following the CRUD operations. So creating data, reading data, updating data, as well as deleting data. So this is the final video in terms of the CRUD part. So I will be having additional videos related to additional features. However, regarding the CRUD part, this is the last part. So let's get started with deleting data from Cloud Firestore using Python. So how do we really do this? In front of me here, I have this sample Cloud Firestore database. We have this collection persons and these sets of documents. So these documents are actually created um, in the previous video in the create data video. So regardless of that, what we want to do is actually to use our Python code to do perf to actually perform, sorry, delete operations. So how do we do this? Let's go back to PyCharm. So here I have a PyCharm project. Um, the project is virtually empty, save for the actual stuff that we've added in this playlist. So there's nothing that you cannot do in this entire playlist that is um, PyCharm specific. So you can use any text editor you like. And yeah. So this is what we have. This initial part here is actually explained in detail in my setting up Cloud Firestore with Python video. So regardless, let's see how we're going to delete data. And the first step we're going to do, so similar to what we did in the update data video, we're going to follow a known ID. So what do I mean by a known ID? So bear with me if you've heard me explain this uh, multiple times already, but for the sake of the people new to this playlist or to this video, this is what we mean. So a known ID is something that we have described ourselves. So let's say here I described P1. I saved P1 as the ID for this document and filled in all the other information. I saved here P2 as the ID for this document and filled the information. Meanwhile here, these are actually auto IDs. So if I do try to press a document, let's say here I try to put in a person's username, uh, for example, code first, which is my username. And um, no, uh, maybe I just want to put an auto ID. So this is like our two alternatives. These are, these are the two alternatives that we can have, a known ID versus an auto ID that here I'm assuming we do not know. So I mean, we don't have it stored anywhere in memory or anywhere inside our current application. So let's see, what do I do with a known ID? So assuming I know my ID here, how do I delete a certain document? And by delete a document, I do mean actually removing the entire document. So you can do this manually even here, so the document. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually do it through code because obviously when you have a very big data set and a specific application and people are using it constantly, you must have a lot of data. So here's what we do. So we simply refer to our DB, so our Firestore client, dot collection, and we put in the collection name here, dot document, so a document reference. So these three concatenated uh, words actually refer to the document reference. So this is how we get the document reference. And let's say the document P1. And this is pretty straightforward. So simply all you need to do is type delete. And now I can run, um, actually I'm running the update, Never mind. Uh, yeah, I should run this one. Here we go. Okay, so the process is finished. We can see this document does not exist and you don't have any more the P1 document. So that's it really for deleting documents. It's pretty straightforward. It's simply a delete function that you perform on a document reference. If you've been following my playlist, you will have seen this document reference thing um, pretty often so far. So this part here returns a document reference. All right, so now that we know how to delete uh, data with a known ID, how would I do this exact same thing rather than not just delete a document, but also delete a specific field? So let's say delete data known ID for a field. So I'm not trying to delete the entire document here. I actually just want to delete a field. And let's say this time I'm referring to document P2 since obviously P1 does not exist anymore. And let's say I want to delete the socials for P2. How would I do this? So how do I actually delete um, certain fields? To do this, we actually don't use the delete function. We use the update function. And now this may come as a surprise, but this is actually a form of us updating an existing document. So let's say we want to update and we select socials and the value here for this dictionary, you could say, the value here is firestore.delete 
underscore field. And that's really how we would do it. So I've updated the value. I've said I want to delete this field. So now if I run this, let's see. It might take some time, usually depending on the bandwidth, on the internet speed, and all sorts of variables. So it's taking um, a bit of time. So going back here, uh, we can see that the socials part was actually removed from P2. So that's really how we would delete a field. So now I'm just going to comment this existing stuff out so that it just doesn't keep... Um, yeah, it took some time earlier because it was still doing that again and it was checking there was no document that had P1 and there was nothing to delete. So yeah, that's why it took um, a bit of time. So that's really it for deleting a document with a known ID as well as deleting um, the specific uh, the, the deleting a specific field. So let's say now what I want to do is I want to delete documents um, that have an unknown ID. How would I do this? So let's say delete docs unknown ID. And this really refers a lot to what we actually did in the update data video. So how am I going to do this? Simply what we need to do is we need to get all the existing documents. And again, this can be done in one of two ways. So let's say this is the uh, first way. Way. Okay, so the clean code with the comments and real explanations is in my GitHub. So you can see the source code down below. So let's see, it's db.collection, and I'm going to pass persons to it, dot get. So to do so here, I get all of my documents, and then for doc in docs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply save the key to be doc.id, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to db.collection, um, let's say, you know, persons, dot delete and when i do this basically what i'm doing is actually deleting the entire um the entire sets of collection uh, documents in my collection so here i got all the docs i got all their ids sorry and then i go through the collection and i delete each of them one by one now i'm not going to do this now maybe i'll save this for the end of the video and actually delete everything but before that i just want to demo a few things first so another thing you can do is actually, rather than getting all of the database, let's get part of the database. So part of the database related to a certain query condition. And now I'm going to say I want to delete those whose age is um, greater or equal to 50. Now I've explained this in depth in the read data video as well as the update data video. But basically what we're doing is we're using this to write a query for all those documents whose age is greater or equal to 50. And then for those documents, I'm just going to go through them. I'm going to loop through this um, result here. So docs obviously here is a big set of results, a big set of documents. I'm going to loop through those and then I'm going to delete all of those with the ID key. And now if I run this, it will delete all those whose age is greater or equal to 50. So just for the sake of verification, we have um, Jane who's 50 and I believe she's the only one. Uh, yeah, so we're going to delete um, Jane. So now let me run this and see the result. Okay, so yeah, okay, obviously document key and dot delete. So my bad here. And uh, now I can run this. Okay, here we go. And now we can see that Jane has actually been deleted. So like I said, this is a way for us to actually traverse our results, you know, take the ID from the result and then delete that one using the now known ID. So you could say the ID was unknown, we received these documents, we took their ID here, so we saved this key and then we deleted the documents for this specific key. Now you can obviously do the same, so let's say for all those whose age is greater than 40, I want to update and now I want to say uh, age, okay, so I'm here, I need this. And I want to say here age, and I want to, again, firestore.delete field. And let's say I'm going to delete their entire age. So I don't want anyone whose age is above 40 to have an age field. So now if I run this, um, and really I didn't do anything different. I'm just trying to illustrate how we can do the exact same things for both known IDs and unknown IDs. So coming here, uh, we can see there's no age here anymore. Uh, there still is an age, it's 32. 
no age, no age, um, only an age 21. So yeah, this was definitely successful. And that's really it for deleting. There is really nothing beyond actually deleting a document versus deleting a specific field. Now, obviously here you can do this for multiple fields by also doing the name, um, you know, fire store delete field. So it's really all the same. Now, the last thing we can possibly do here in a delete video is actually delete all the documents in the collection. And this is something I said I would do. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. And let's say to actually delete everything, we just uh, get the document, give it a key, and then we delete. So now what I'm, I've done is I've taken all of the documents from the database, from the collection, sorry. Um, I went through them, I saved the ID, and then I deleted this specific document. So now I'm going to run this. And it's going to take a second. And now that we're done, we can come back here and we have no documents in our collection. So now this collection is completely empty and we have successfully deleted everything. So thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for sticking around for the entire crud part um, of this series. So I really hope it was useful. I really hope you're learning from this and actually using it in your applications. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye bye.